Okay, so let's look at how you can maintain your muscle mass as you get older. It's important because beginning at about age 50, you know, many people lose up to about 1% of their muscle mass each year. And this is an extremely common degenerative condition called sarcopenia. You know, and it's linked to, you know, low bone density and insulin resistance. You know, insulin resistance is when your cells don't respond to insulin properly. You know, it's the first step towards uh, diabetes. You know, it's linked to heart disease and Alzheimer's and uh, cancer as well. You know, so sarcopenia, this loss of muscle mass after the age of 50, you know, is, uh, is linked to a lot of other serious health problems. Now, the good news is, you know, you can prevent it or uh, even reverse it, you know, by imp and improve your strength and your ability to do things. You know, in your overall health, you know, just in those years when, you know, you might have, you know, the time to do some of the things that you've always wanted to do. Okay, so the two things that we'll look at in this video are uh, consuming enough protein and strength training, you know, because both are key, you know, to building and maintaining muscle mass. Um, so here's the situation, you know, as you age, you know, become, you become less efficient at processing protein, you know, and then combine that with hormonal changes and, you know, less activity, you know, what you end up with is, you know, a loss of muscle mass and a weakened body. Now, every part of your body needs protein to grow, you know, and maintain, you know, and to function, you know, just for overall good health. Because your good health really depends on replenishing the protein, you know, at whatever rate it's being broken down in your body. So, you know, if you get adequate protein in your diet, you know, it reduces the risk of, you know, developing other health problems, you know, that are normally associated uh, with aging, you know, things like uh, memory loss, uh, or depression, right? And when you eat enough protein, and of course, um, healthy fat, you know, you'll eat less carbohydrates. You know, in a low carb, um, high fat with moderate protein diet is essential for a healthier body and metabolism. All right, so there are, are two keys to this. Uh, first is that it's important to eat your protein throughout the day. You know, rather than like all at one meal. So, you know, if you're eating three meals per day, it's best to eat protein in each one. Now, if you're fasting, you know, and only eating two meals a day, then, you know, be sure to eat protein at both meals. You know, and you, you might want to consider supplementing with amino acids, like let's say in the morning, if that's the meal you normally skip. You know, because getting your protein um, throughout the day has been shown to help uh, improve muscle mass. Um, it's also important to know that, you know, uh, people who start to lose muscle mass can slow or stop it, right? So it's worth going after this, you know, and the best way to do that is to, is to implement these actions. Uh, so in addition to getting your protein throughout the day, um, you may also need to increase your protein intake, you know, but it depends on where you're starting from because too much protein can be problematic in the long run. Now, most adults should be eating somewhere between uh, three and six ounces of protein per meal. You know, the exact amount depends on your gender and um, your activity level, your health, and of course your age. Um, and so, you know, if you're experiencing muscle loss after the age of 50, you know, you might want to consider increasing the amount of protein you eat by, uh, you know, 20 to 25%. You know, so if you were eating four ounces before, you know, uh, per meal, then you might have to have, uh, you might want to have like five ounces per meal now. You know, that's a pretty good guideline. Now, a more accurate way to calculate, you know, what protein intake, uh, you know, sh you should be at, you know, would be to eat half a gram of protein per pound of lean body mass. You know, and so obviously that requires a calculation. So, you know, I've put it up on the, on the board here for you. So um, you need to know what your percent body fat is. Okay, so let's say you're 20% body fat. Uh, that would mean you're 80% lean body mass. Okay, so just take, uh, you know, take that 80 and divide it by 100, that'll give you 0 0.80. And then uh, take that 0 0.80 and multiply it times your body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, that gives us 120 pounds, uh, right? That's your lean body weight. And then you just simply wanna multiply that times uh, 0 0.5 grams, right? Because it's half a, half a gram per pound of lean body mass. So that gives us 60 grams of protein per day uh, as the need. And like I mentioned earlier, you know, if you're already 
um, losing muscle mass, you should increase that number by about 20 to 25 percent, uh, you know, above what you calculate. Um, you know, but it's important to understand this, you know, and don't uh, overdo it because eating too much protein, you know, is in uh, the typical American diet, uh, actually has negative uh, health consequences, you know, because excess protein is converted to sugar, right, and then to fat, you know, and the sugar uh, that's created from the protein feeds the harmful bacteria and stresses your kidneys and, you know, encourages um, cancer cells to grow. Um, so to do this right, you know, you should eat a variety of uh, animal and plant protein sources, including um, grass-fed pasture-raised meats and, um, you know, a limited amount of dairy if your body, you know, can tolerate dairy. Um, also, wild-caught seafood is a great source of protein. Uh, certainly uh, uh, vegetables, you know, especially leafy greens uh, and cruciferous like broccoli and Brussels sprouts and um, cauliflower, um, nuts and seeds as well, you know, specifically uh, hemp and chia. Um, you know, and those ap uh, also happen to be high in omega-3 fats, right? Uh, also include spirulina in your diet because it's 70% protein by weight and contains all the essential amino acids. You know, so it's a great source. And you can add spirulina to uh, a smoothie with spinach and kale and some seeds, maybe a, a handful of uh, berries, right? And if, you're, you know, if your diet still tends to fall short on protein, right, even, even when you try to implement all of this, or if you just like to have like a protein shake around, you know, for occasional meals on the run, um, go to bodymanual.com and look up the product called Plant Protein Complete. Uh, it contains 21 grams of protein per serving. You know, it includes the superfood spirulina, you know, as well as digestive enzymes and probiotics, you know, to help with your digestion. All right, so uh, in terms of nutrition, you know, right, limiting your carbs and um, getting adequate protein, um, you know, it's, it, it, those are important to maintaining your muscle mass, right? But the other side of the equation is weight training. Um, you know, even if you've never done it, right? It's never too late to start, right? You should just uh, start now. Uh, in fact, one study where the average study participant was 90 years old, right? Showed that in just eight weeks of weight training, muscle strength improved by an average of 173%, right? And also the effects of weight training in, in older adults reaches far beyond just strength and muscle size uh, because it benefits energy metabolism and increases antioxidant production and insulin sensitivity and brain function, you know, by promoting the survival of neurons. Uh, and, and since mental health is a, you know, a major health concern among people, you know, as they get older, um, strength training along with a low carb diet, you know, and the right amount of protein uh, and plenty of brain supporting healthy fat really is the best strategy for improving the quality of your life as you get older. All right, so that's the skinny uh, on maintaining your muscle mass. And, uh, it, you know, if you found this video helpful, you know, make sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to send this video to someone, you know, who'd appreciate the information. All right, I'll see you in the next one.